Shalom, giving all praises to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Raka Kodash, for giving us the understanding of the Holy Bible through their men, beginning with the apostles and the bishops of Great Millstone. These are the men that are worthy of double honors in the time that we're living in, which we're living at the end of Esau's world, according to 2nd Ezra 6 and verse 9. And Yahweh Bashem Abu Shai Bahashem Raka Kodash Brakatham to the hundred and forty four thousand servants as well as the remaining elect of Israel. Now forgive me, I just woke up, so you know I'm I'm half asleep still and my voice is kinda of groggy, so but <laughs> hey the spirits got me up around four AM. I just woke up briefly. And um, upon waking up, I was checking some headlines, and this is what I ran into, okay, from RT News. A new brother, see what it says, all right? BBC presenter jailed for raping 42 dogs to death. And this ain't gonna be no long lesson, but I wanna show the world the nature of Esau, Edom, okay? See, this is why our Lord referred to these people as the wicked. Okay, as a matter of fact, let's start there to prove to you that these Edomites are the border of wickedness. Okay, making them the wicked inherently. This is Malachi 1, we'll start at verse 1. It says the burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. It says, I have loved you, saith the Lord, yet ye say, wherein has thou loved us? And that's the mentality of our people, okay, towards our Lord, okay, our power, our God, the God of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, all right? Our people have this nonchalant, ungrateful attitude towards Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And that's mainly due to our people being ignorant as to why we're on the bottom, as to why we as a people are being punished. Okay? Going back to the curses of Deuteronomy 28 from verse 15 on down, a lot of our people don't realize that we're being punished by our Lord because, you know, we transgressed the, the covenant, you know, that our Lord made with us. Therefore, our Lord put us underneath our enemies. The main enemy that we're under right now is Esau. So our people have this attitude towards our Lord. Anyway, it goes on to say, was not Esau Jacob's brother, saith the Lord, whose name in the ancient Hebrew is Yahweh? Okay. And were to worship Yahweh through his son Yahweh Shai. That's our mediator. 1 Timothy 2, verse 5. Yet I loved Jacob and I hated Esau. Okay. Verse 4, whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus saith Yahweh of armies, they shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness. And the people against whom the Lord Yahweh have indignation, which is justified anger forever. Okay, so our Lord, Yahweh Bashem Shai, hates this nation of people, okay, that he himself created, right, for the purpose of there being wickedness on the earth, all right? 
as is written in Isaiah 45 and verse 7, our Lord is a God of duality. Okay. He created righteousness and wickedness. And you Edomites, your role on the earth is to be the wicked. Okay. The border of wickedness. And what we're seeing here in the news is an example of your wickedness. The scriptures also speak about how the spirit that's within this man is not bright. As Habakkuk said. And again, this is a prime example of that. The spirit that's within these Edomites is not upright. I mean, this is absolutely disgusting. Okay, and that's why it says in Isaiah 32 and verse 5, I believe, it speaks about how the liberal man, as a matter of fact, let me get that real quick. Isaiah 32. And verse 5 says, The vile person shall no more be called liberal, nor the child said to be bountiful. Guess who the vile person is? It's speaking about you Edomites. And this is an example of just how vile and evil and wicked you people are. You know, there was a time when the so-called white man was looked at as being noble. They were looked at as being people of character. There was a time when they were pretty much looked at as being gods on earth. Okay. Which that was all done through deception. All right. But now the Lord is exposing these people for who they truly are, which is the wicked. Again, Malachi 1 verse 4. You've also got the book of Job, chapter 9 verse 24. It clearly states that the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. And who's ruling and governing this world right now? So-called white people. Okay, this is their rulership. You know, this is their kingdom where bestiality is running rampant, where homosexuality, transgenderism, paedophilia is at an all-time high. This is their kingdom. This is their world. Former BBC animal expert Adam Robert Corden, Britain, has been sentenced to 10 years and five months in prison after pleading guilty to a series of appalling crimes against dogs and young children. So not only was this man raping dogs, animals, but he was raping little boys and girls. It says Britain, originally from the UK and currently living in Australia, was the senior researcher in crocodiles at Charles Darwin University and served as an expert and scientific advisor for BBC documentaries Life in Cold Blood and Walking with Dinosaurs as well as National Geographic series Nature Untamed. How fitting is that? Britain secretly constructed a dog torture chamber in his family home where he would take dogs bought or rescued to be subjected to what the judge termed inconceivable depravity, depravity. pardon me for pronouncing that wrong, depravity. Okay, oh, what did Job say? Let's get that real quick. That's Job 30 and 1. It says, But now they that are younger than I and have me in derision. And what did Job mean by they that are younger than I? Well, that's speaking about how in reality, 
although Esau came out first, okay, although he was first born in the flesh, going back to the birth of um, Jacob and Esau, as it's written, the first came out red all over like a hairy garment, speaking about Esau. Although, you know, they were the firstborn according to the flesh, well, Jacob, our forefather, he was the firstborn according to the spirit, all right? You know, he was chosen in the spirit world from the foundation of the earth to be the chosen, okay? To be the chosen seed, as it were, to be the heir of the promises, all right? Let me read that again, I'm sorry. But now they that are younger than I have me in derision, whose fathers I would have disdained to have set with the dogs of my flock. Let's read that in another translation. Let's read that in the, in the ERV. It says, but now men younger than I make fun of me, men whose fathers were too worthless to put with my sheep dogs. Worthless, why? Because this is what they do, man, with animals. This is how they get down with dogs, with animals. Okay, it's in their nature to do wickedness like this when it comes to animals. Okay, out there in England, in the UK, you know, we call you sheep shaggers because you have a reputation of having sex with animals. All right, sheeps, dogs, you name it. This is their spirit. It says, Britain would film himself raping and torturing dogs to death to be posted on, to be posted to a telegram channel of like-minded individuals and would provide tips on how best to, con to construct a dog torture room acquired dogs and how many he had killed when one of the dogs was able to be identified from its color britain's crimes were exposed okay and right now our lord is exposing you know just how devilish and sinful this man is okay as a matter of fact it's it's a sin you know to have sex with animals let's see if we can find that but before we go there, let's go to Second Thessalonians um, chapter 2 and verse 3 because right now our Lord is exposing who this man, who these people truly are, okay? Not only are they the wicked, but they're also known as the nation or the people of sin, the man of sin, as the Apostle Paul calls him here. This is 2 Thessalonians 2 and verse 3. It says, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come. What day? The day of Yahweh Barshem Abishai, the day in which our Lord destroys um, this place that you know as America, Babylon the Great, by way of nu nuclear missiles. The day in which Yahweh Shai comes back, okay, with the host of angels the thousands of angels to save the elect of Israel, to deliver the elect of Israel, which is primarily going to take place out here in America. Okay. You've got Jeremiah 16 verse 14, Matthew 24 verse 31, Revelation 1 verse 7. That day shall not come except there come a falling away first. Okay, and this falling away goes into, you know, the time of 70 AD when um, we were exiled, you know, pretty much chased out of our land by Esau, you know, fleeing Roman persecution, of course, um, fulfilling Jeremiah 17 and verse 4, fulfilling 
Luke 21 and verse 20. All right, these are scriptures that you can go to to reference what's being said here. We fell away from knowing who we are and um, the knowledge of Yahweh Barshma was share. But right now, our Lord is putting us back in remembrance, so to speak, you know, through his mercy. All right, and that's prophecy, Hosea 6, verse 1. Um, you've also got Jude, verse 5, um, Isaiah 14, or verse 1. And these are scriptures that you should go to that I'm quoting, you know, as a, as a reference point for what I'm saying. It says, except there come falling away first, and that man, what man? The so-called white man, okay, the so-called Caucasian man, the so-called European man, which biblically, they're the Edomites. It says, and that man of sin, what sin? Sin is a transgression of the laws, all right? First John 3, verse 4, the laws of Yahab Bashem al and this so-called white man, Esau, Edom, has transgressed every law in the Bible. It says, and that man of sin be revealed. So that's what's happening right now. Our Lord is revealing who the man of sin is. Our Lord is revealing who the wicked are. And he's doing that through his servants, the prophets, i.e. the apostles, the bishops, and the men of great millstone. And like-minded, righteous Hebrew Israelite men. And we're exposing this devil, the son of perdition, right? Because they're slated for complete and our destruction. Okay. Now let's get the, the law on bestiality, which should be in Leviticus, the 18th chapter. And I believe it's around the 20th verse. Okay. Let's switch the Bible here. Let's switch it to the GNT. And let's look at the subheading. Yep, as you see here, it says forbidden sexual practices. So the, the book of Leviticus, the 18th chapter, goes into forbidden sexual practices, all right? This is the law on unlawful sex that we're gonna read here. Let me see. Yep, it's right here, okay. Leviticus 18 and 23. No man or woman is to have sexual relations with an animal. That perversion makes you ritually unclean. So what we're looking at here is a perverse act. And this is how these Edomites get down. Okay, and this is the law that they've transgressed on multiple occasions. You know, this is news that always comes out, you know, concerning what these Edomites do behind closed doors. Okay. So anyway, man, <laughs> you know, I just want to bring that out again. Forgive me for... Um, you know, the delivery of this video is, is about 4 a.m. in the morning and I just woke up, so I'm a bit sluggish, but not too sluggish to do a video. Anyway, with that, I'll say, Shalom.